Okay, this is board number 19 from the fourth session of the fast pairs. And we ended up with a pretty good result on this one. Um, so pass and I passed and they opened a heart. And you don't, I mean, you have a good hand, but obviously there's nothing you can say over a heart. Um, so it went two hearts and I bid two spades, which, you know, I wasn't wild about, um, especially because if they compete in hearts, you're on lead and you're going to lead a spade and my spades are terrible. But at the same time, like you're going to have some heart length and I can't let this go pass, pass back to you. Like we have to compete and it has to be me. And I just, I felt like I had to do it. Yeah. This is a, is a principle called pre-balancing, right? Where right. you know that if the auction starts one heart pass, two hearts pass, pass, there's no way I'm going to be able to back into the auction. Right. The hand with shortness has to act. Right. Also, I'm not sure I would necessarily lead a spade because you didn't pre like, you're very likely to have a sixth spade here. I guess you could do this on five, but, um, with spade length and not opening, it's pretty likely having not preempted that your suit might not be that good. I admit on this hand, I would lead a spade whether you bid it or not. But. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And I mean, there's certainly something to be said for maybe red against white and you have heart length. We should just let them play two hearts. It's possible. Uh, like I don't like to let them play at the two level when they have a fit, but red against white. Um, and one of us has a Trump stack. That could be, could be one of the times, but anyway, North, like logically bid three hearts and you're sitting there with ace, king, queen of spades and king, nine, fifth of hearts. Mm -hmm. um, so were you like debating between three spades and double? Yeah. Double looked pretty juicy. Um, however, it's not clear that my hand has that much defense. Like king nine fifth is nice, but my spots aren't that good. It's it's probably going to come to two trump tricks in the wash, right? I'll certainly score the king and probably one more. Uh, and how many of our spades are really cashing? Right. I mean, for a double, you'd much rather have like a singleton spade. Oh God, yeah. If I had a singleton spade and those values were somewhere else, I would yeah. I would be doubling yeah. and high fiving everyone in the room. Right, it wouldn't be close. Yeah, um, and you know your partner just came in with a vulnerable two spade bid, missing the ace king and queen. Mm -hmm. uh, now you know he's void in hearts. Oh yeah, and that's a big part of what he's bidding on. Um, but yeah, I mean it's hard hard not to not to raise here. And I I mean that double came down. I was like, oh god, this is what I get. <laughs> Right, we're going for like the the disaster two hundred and right, right. We're vulnerable. I just made this really aggressive bid on a suit to the nothing, and then I pushed them up. It worked, and then my idiot partner had to raise me. <laughs> Couldn't take a joke. It's like, oh come on, Greg. And then the dummy comes down. I was like, nice. <laughs> I mean, even so, like, there's. A little work to do i guess not that much i mean it was fortunate that the ace of uh ace of diamonds was on side was that the ninth trick or the tenth i don't remember the result i think it was the ninth because i i have didn't we get 9 30 on this hand or am uh, i just remembering that wrong well we might have um let's see i'm losing the ace of diamonds but then you know the problem is if i try to like rough a diamond that's with a Trump trick, right? That's right. another jack. Um, and then I need to s deal with the clubs. Um, so, you know, it's it's certainly possible that you could still lose two diamonds and three clubs on this hand, um, mm -hmm. you know, even with everything else working okay. Um, but I think I... I think I led a club up towards the jack and he took the king and then I was able to to hook the 10 coming mm. back. That's kind of what I remember. Um, so yeah. it, you said earlier that North very logically bid three hearts. I don't love the three heart bid. I think like competing makes sense, but why not bid three diamonds on the way? That's true. 
Uh, the whole reason that it's logical to compete is because you have 10 cards and two suits. And if you bid three diamonds, I mean, like we saw Adam do earlier with his, uh, when he introduced his second suit, it should help your partner decide whether to bid one more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't... Right. I mean, it's, it's a natural sort of bid and a game try, you know, I know South only raised to two, but if their values are in hearts and diamonds, absolutely you could easily be making a game. Yeah. Uh, so I think you're right. Competing is is a no-brainer, but bidding three diamonds on the way makes an awful lot of sense. Yeah, and I, I admit that I am sympathetic to South's double. I know that I've made doubles like this before. Um, you know, it's, it's match points. You feel like you have a little bit extra for your two heart bids, so you feel reasonably confident that you were about to make three hearts and so you're like, oh, we had 140, and these jerks are in our auction, and yeah, you know, a... the past hand bid two spades, maybe a lot of tables won't do that. And so if you got more vigorous competition at your table than most of the field did, maybe you feel like you need to protect your 140 because 100 is not going to do it. Yeah, it's a uh, classic match point double. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's... You, you're taking a risk, but you're going for that 200. And you're right. You know, minus 140 is probably going to be a pretty terrible score for North-South on this one, right? If they just pass out three spades and we make it. Mm -hmm. So they have a bad score coming either way. They might as well double and and try to get the 200. So, I, you know, I think the double is spot on. Just, you know, we uh, we lucked into it again. I mean, both of our bids are, are very solid, not solid, but reasonable. And, you know, we caught a good layout. Yeah, I was going to see if I could find uh, quickly the um, what the result would have been. Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, what 140 would have been. Yeah, whether the double really mattered. Here we go. Fast pairs. This is session four, right? Yeah, board 19. We could have looked this up before, but it's uh, possible that we could have done that. But we do this on the fly, baby. Yeah, we're we we'll do it live, right? All right, board nineteen, uh, one forty would have been a twenty percent board. So they didn't really invest. The double doesn't invest very much. Like this logic is is fine. It's like, well, if this is making, we were already average minus anyway, so we're investing little. But if it's down one. The double is probably almost a full board swing. Right. Right. So yeah, you're you're turning a 20% board into a zero yeah. or into a hundred. Yep. That those odds are in your favor if it's yeah. gonna be at all close. And so, we did uh we did score nine thirty on this board. So you did I, make an over trick. I guess I made an over trick. Yeah. The club suit here is an interesting one. Um because I think I think the right play is low up towards the dummy. Um, like if they're three three, it doesn't really matter what you do. But you know I can't afford to rough anything, so I just have to play the suit. And you know when I play up, when North has honor double, then they have to take it. And now I can. Um, now I can hook the queen. I might have even hooked the against the nine. I don't remember. Uh, I'm not sure if if you if you led low towards the jack and North had played low, were you going to get it right? Were you going to drop it? Well, that's an interesting interesting question. You say North has to take it, and, and you know I think they probably should, but right, uh, it's pretty. I, mean, I, guess it, I guess at that point, it you you almost have to play it that way, right? Because how did this actually go? Did they lead? They led a diamond at trick one, I assume. Because if they tried to lead, if they didn't lead the ace of hearts at trick one, right? Like that would have made this hand a lot simpler. Sure, sure. No, I think he led the queen of diamonds. So yeah, diamond to the ace, which is a nice relief. Right. Um, diamond comes back. You grab your king. And you so you know you're looking at a diamond loser because you can't rough one. Right. Or maybe you could. I don't know. You could rough one and just maybe they're 2-2. Two, two, who knows? But I don't think you did. I think you right. played... Drew, I drew trumps. Right, so now you're in the dummy, and you have to lead clubs from dummy. 
Right. Oh, I might have let a club like to the seven. Mm. It's interesting because you can't repeat that finesse. Right. I, well, I think <laughs> you might like draw one round of Trump and then, or two rounds of Trumps and then do a club. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so you have the other, other space. I think, for an I think that's exactly what you did. You played two rounds of Trumps, saw that they weren't splitting, led a club immediately, like maybe to the seven or something. You led a club and lost to the king, won the return, drew the last Trump, and then led another club. Yeah, yeah. that seems Yeah, right. that sounds right. The that's only thing that makes any sense. Yeah. It's been a couple weeks. We, yeah. don't, uh, we don't remember every card that was played. It's, uh, a, it's a very interesting hit. Like if they lead a lead a trump um you know you have to time the hand very carefully you have to lead a diamond to trick two i think right pretty much yeah hmm. but i mean a queen of diamonds is pretty very normal normal, very normal. Lead. yeah so you know, this is a great example of a match point double and you know they say if they're not making what a third or quarter of the doubles that you make you're not doubling enough um and this is a great example right like they had a bad board coming no matter what, and double just made it a little worse. All right, we got more boards coming for you.